I'm going to my computer in a minute. My I was up on my roof for that other call, and my fingers got frozen, so they're now thawed out a little oh, bit. <laughs> it's pretty cold here, actually. You sound surprised. Well, it was like really sunny through the window, and I was like wishful thinking, I guess, that it was warm, but I haven't been out that much lately. Are we aiming for an hour-ish or two hours? I don't know. I guess they usually go like two hours. There's no I think I have to go at, at one. Right. I think I might too. I actually know I'm I can stick around, but I, I could stick around a little more. I, I don't have a hard stop. I'm just gonna go out and uh, meet a friend later. Lauren, I'm unplugging to go over to Mark's. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. There is a formula for creating reoccur reoccurring events in Airtable. Is, do you think that's new or? Um, it must be because we've looked before. Yeah, here I'm sending the link. If you control F, create reoccurring events, it says it's date time parse date time format reoccurring date and then you put a format it looks this formula looks at the date field called reoccurring date and strips the year away then it adds the current year oh is this a yearly we want weekly reoccurring hmm. so it's worth mentioning that Lauren's going to hold on to her, her Zoom a little longer because there's a whole bunch of interviews and stuff, other other meetings happening all the time. That's good. Uh, I don't know if you want to say more, Lauren. We don't have a, We didn't get to like thinking a specific time that we actually want to use for Kiko Lab Mondays, the CSD Zoom, but it's still kind of looming. Uh, yeah, I just want to acknowledge that, uh, Pete, you put some money down, and I know we talked about sharing yeah. all that. So, yeah, I've, I'm aware of it. That's all I want to say. Um, yeah, it's um, yeah, I'm I'm cool. Whatever, whatever works. No, I'm, I'm looking forward to to actually like sealing the deal though with uh, the sharing thing at some point. Yeah, I'd be happy to. Um, I was also wondering if we want to ask Eric, Eric is I you know we might be able to ask Eric now that we're in regular calls with him theoretically if he wants to share or I don't know. Let's see how consistent that's going to be. Um, yeah. Or rather, he's going to be. I guess that's really yeah. my point. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Eric, who? Willikins. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. He he was wanting to to get a Zoom account, and there was some conversation about sharing. I think if he's if and when he's able to be more responsive or just just yeah. consistent then then a lot of things will start to flow around him yeah i'm running out of paper i know that feeling i i always run out of pens like my pens always disappear they're floating all around <laughs> Is there a tool I, for that? <laughs> I am like literally, well, you can get refillable pens. The thing is, 
I don't like reusable paper, um, which I do have some of that, but like, I like, I have all these notebooks and more on my desk and like, I don't have any blank pieces of paper to write on. Like all my loose leaf index cards and notebooks are filled. And the backsides of all of those are also filled. Recycled <laughs> envelopes works really well. I'm just saving all my envelopes and uh, th those work really well. <laughs> Okay, so I've got uh, a wiki page set up and HackMD set up on the wiki page. And um, if it's okay, I'll share my, my uh, um, if uh, Vincent, you can allow me, um, I'll share my, my uh, notes thing. Um, make host? Uh, yeah, if you want. Um, so let me let me describe this a little bit. I don't want to take a lot of time um, for this, but I think, well, it's um, uh, the steering council is going to be using this, and and um, and uh, we're tech savvy enough to be able to use it productively. Um, so the deal here is there's a there's a couple things going on. Um, there's a GitHub repo. Um, and I actually added the other last week's uh, notes. Um, we can also look at this in Obsidian. Um, and then uh, for meetings, it turns out that it's nice if you connect the page through HackMD. Uh, you can set up one page and, or one document in HackMD to be connected to one page in GitHub and and get them like sync when you want to. You can. You can click a button and make it sync. So it's super useful. Um, uh, it's super useful for taking notes, and multiple people can be on the same document. Um, Judy was actually participating with us. She she didn't want to type, but um, she was able to just watch like this on her iPad and see changes happening. Um, so that was super useful. So kind of enough presentation for now. Um, and then don't, let's not worry about this too much. Um, and we'll kind of Charles, work into I think, it. I think you're Charles's. echoing Charles. He's got it now. Sorry about that. I, I tried to mute my computer, but it didn't seem to take care of it. Anyway, I'm here. What is HackMD? Um, am I am I still screen sharing or? Yeah, I don't just actually the, thought just browser, right? Yeah, I thought HackMD was something medical related, but um, HackMD, uh, you know what a collaborative text editor is? Real time collaborative text editor. Uh, is it like a Google Doc but Markdown? Yes. There's a whole class of collaborative editors. Google Docs is one of them, and Etherpad is one of the OG ones. Um, but HackMD, it's just a, you know, um, anybody can join and they'll have their own view of this. Um, and the, so the, the really clunky thing about HackMD, this is this is kind of the old classic way to do Markdown editors. You'd have, well, the old really the the OG was OG way was you see this and then some some point later you see the HTML um, and then you know like five years ago or something like that people finally got the idea that you could have oh wow you know I, I know how to do divs or whatever in HTML I'll make one that's editable and one that's preview so that's what this is um, and it's live you know so um, uh, um, sorry I'm starting to think about uh, Actually, content. So it's live. It's a live preview. Um, cool. Nice, nice editors. Now um, they don't have this old clunky thing. They just have this view, and you edit in this view. But HackMD isn't that up to that. But on the other hand, HackMD has the collaborative editing thing. So, um, yeah, uh, I could show you Obsidian if y'all are interested, but we could wait too. 
would it be um, taking this and putting it into Obsidian, you mean? Yeah, let me let me just show you since since nobody said please God no. Um, <laughs> hey Lauren, kind of breaking news. I got a meeting with my lawyer. A brief uh, connect to ask, and actually for Pete too. Is I, I'm going to find out about the bank account just before our stewards call on Tuesday. That's awesome. Um, so these are actually all each of these windows is a separate wiki. Um, but let me show you the one the, the biggest massive wiki right now is the sandbox wiki. Um, so readme is the homepage of, of massive wikis. Um, and then you know, you can make links and go back to them. Um, and this is Mm. Obsidian has a has a hybrid um, mode for editing. This is what the editing interface looks like, um, and they they do they highlight some of the some of it turns into HTML and some of it doesn't. Um, but uh, um, already already I have the flotilla. Um, Flotilla wiki uh, set up so that it's syncing with GitHub and uh, and can open in in Obsidian. Um, it's it's really easy to connect, actually. The question. Easy. Yeah. I I seem to recall that you have to pay for Obsidian, or or how does that work? If I wanted it's, to test it, taste it. Whatever. It's um it's uh I think. I think it's free for personal use. Is is the the license? Oh, cool. Um, they're they're really chill. Um, so I I think it's it's free. Uh, so this is the Flotilla Wiki right now. It's got uh, the standard you know Hello World uh, homepage, uh, Wix, which I'll fix later today probably, and then it's got the meetings from um, uh, last week's meeting and this week's meeting. And I haven't synced the changes around yet. Um, it's easy to do with like clicking a couple buttons in the right place, easy. Um, so unless you all know, are gluttons for punishment about massive wiki, we, we, could, we could demo that too, but we don't have to. We could totally talk like calendars or, or stuff. Um, so let me also, I'll copy this uh, over to um, we can go back to the HackMD. Um, it's going to be a thing. We're we're federating a lot here. Um, Obsidian has this weird thing where they don't actually list your uh, uh, list your windows. So I always have to like kind of like fill around and find it again. Oh, except I wasn't, I was going to HackMD. Uh, Chrome, Flotilla Fire. Yay, okay, we're back. Um, and then I can paste in the stuff that I just copied from. like there were other things I'm just going to scroll out but I don't know if you were already capturing it was oh yeah agenda request yeah it was from yesterday you see um, map talk workflow it's actually kind of very similar to the thing I put in for today but more particular to some of my mapping stuff um, and then actually yeah the calendar meta calendar so that's fine. It's actually, that's it. Um, but Lauren's here. Actually, I had just a, um, the previous day, uh, Lauren mentioned that about your wedding tables. And I feel like. Um, 
Right. It's you're relating to matchmaking and directories and stuff. So it's just another thing to maybe weave in. Link to uh, uh, Christina Bowen. So she's she's actually been completing that idea um, with social roots. Um, yeah, but that the the just basic idea idea was to um, to kind of coordinate and plan like you would for a wedding, getting people um onto the right table to have like a good combination of people um that you that you coordinate like that. Do you remember the social roots? Is there a URL? I'm just putting a little chat. I, I don't remember. It. I think it's socialroots.io. Thanks. Does that, where does, is that a new section or something? What do you mean, section? Uh, I was going to write down social IO. Social roots, I'm just checking. Social it. roots. Yeah. Socialroots.io. Um, well, I think if, if, let me see. Kind of, no, I think I would say put it under wedding tables and, and it's, oh, okay. it's matchmaking and directories as well. Catalyst, Hashverse, Kikolab round tables. This all goes under wedding tables or am I? Yeah, I mean, you know that you made it a section, it would all fit there. It could be called something else. Um, Kikolab which? Uh, round tables just that's that was the earlier way we described our sessions in the pke or practical knowledge ecology uh can i say curate no no i mean you could make the heading more matchmaking and directories but in conversations it's yeah sorry it's a little messy but matchmaking and conversations i don't know implying directories, so it, it, it would fit there, but you can, could be a bullet item as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually I'm gonna do it this way. Uh, so plan to put certain people together for productive something. Right? Yeah, focus, thematic, topical discourse. To be harvested. <laughs> Intentional discourse. Well, actually, yeah. So it's interesting, wedding tables, you don't harvest your discourse. Well, that's true. But in the collaboratory, that's, that's how we roll. Yeah. I mean, I, it's funny. I'm always like with a pad of post-its or, or some little something to, I don't, I don't try to yeah, break up the phone and, and, and do stuff in those settings, but I, I, pen and paper is, is uh, acceptable. Yep. I do. And I yeah. Need that. That's what these are filled with, little pocket notebooks. Exactly. Awesome. They look nice and they, you know, you can whip them out, you, you know. It's not like a proper meeting where you just have it on the table so much. It's just kind of take it in and out, you know. So I, in the spirit of the co-coaching, um, I realized I would actually label my situation here as an emergency in regard to the clutter of notes and maps and, and uh, the, the continual you know, mode of, of playing catch up. So 
it probably belongs more in the co-coaching, but it relates to all this stuff too, somehow, um, in my world. <laughs> um. I would dare, I would dare say um, it, re it, it relates or applies to Kiko app at, at large too, in regard to how Lauren and I collaborate and communicate. And it's very, uh, so yeah, this, not, is, yeah. this is a, a cry for help. I have a personal cry for help, but I would even offer on behalf of Kiko Lab. Um, yeah, it's getting pretty out of hand. Um, yeah, so there's, well, there's people, there, there are things that people describe as magic bullets, but they're not really magic, right? You just have to do it. So. Um, Thank you. <laughs> so you want a obsidian or or Rome, I guess, depending on your your flavor. Um, I was yeah. I I just finally got my map set up, but I yeah. I'll try the obsidian. You and a number of other people that I like and respect uh, like it and respect it. So or something like that. Yeah, and um, uh, the there's a. Well, and then and then we can help help get you to sync it to. Uh, there's somebody's happy with um, the Git plugin that we use uh, is actually somebody I think created it because they wanted to sync um, a Markdown app on their phone or something like that. I just had a chuckle because I googled Obsidian tools and uh, <laughs> I just put put in the chat what came up there. <laughs> Actually, that's in the wrong place. In the thread. <laughs> like, like an actual tool made of obsidian. Yeah, yeah. There's ancient, uh, you know, d daggers and things. That's funny. <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> Excuse me for that. So, what's where, where do I go? Uh, Obsidian.io. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> I think. MD. Yeah. Oh, no, it's, it's both. Well, no, it's MD. .io is a global blockchain. It's MD. OK. Yeah. I'm thinking of something cool. else, .io. But yeah, it, it makes sense that it's MD. So sync back to check for syncing with, uh, check back for syncing with mobile devices and massive wikis. Is that, is that, does that, well, it doesn't help, I know, but <laughs> you actually have to do it, you know. Where did you put that? I'm sorry. I'm looking at your. I just put. I made a section. You know, notes, maps, oh, header management. I see it. Yeah. Well, that's sure. Well, that'll help. I mean, so. Okay, since I, I, it's sort of out on the table here, I, I think you guys know I use OneNote. Um, in a kind of organic way, I guess if, maybe we can decide when we can even do a one on one or whatever sometime, Pete. But. Um, I could do a little screen share and show with more resolution what's really going on. Um, but I think you you nailed it from the start. You know, I just have to decide and do it. Um, I mean, Lauren and I also flirted with, but never really got any groove going with uh, Asana. Um, Trello, I've you know, and Kanban stuff. I, actually, that would probably be really good and useful. It's just uh, haven't haven't really done it and committed to it. Um, but um, yeah, I think so. Um, uh, project task management. I, you know, um, Obsidian. You can use, you know, Wiki or Obsidian for um, project stuff, but um, Trello or Airtable is probably better. Uh huh. And between Trello and Airtable. 
Trello use with people who aren't going to be able to tolerate the Airtable interface and, and <laughs> for everybody else use Airtable. For, okay. and, and it's worth training people up a little bit to not freak out at the Airtable um, interface. Are there uh, templates for project management there or how does that work there? I don't have a There are definitely there. are templates in Airtable. Yeah. Uh, you you um, you do a half hour call with me or Vincent. <laughs> for that, yeah. <laughs> do you use it? Do you guys? Oh, go ahead, Lauren. We did that. We did a we did an Airtable uh, call with Peter already. On project management. Yeah, yeah we can do it are again. You, are you actually using it like that, Lauren? Uh, no, because you don't like Airtable. You will not go on Airtable. Um, I'm just overloaded and it's not like I have a specific resistance. It just doesn't happen. I, I'm not like uh, blocking it for any, for, with any, you know, anything there. Um, it's circumstantial. Okay. I mean, I can put stuff to do on Airtable, but you, you'll have to go in it. <laughs> really? Oh. <laughs> well, or, or get Vincent to, to present it on a web page. <laughs> if, if, um, there's, there's actually, the, yeah. depending on how many things you have to manage, there's actually some value in doing everything in like Obsidian or, or a wiki. Or, okay. Well, so, I'm just uh, going to install Obsidian here. So, what? And then you have to, to, to make Obsidian multiplayer, you have to buy into the massive wiki stuff as well, which. Which well, is we, actually reasonably light, I think. You could probably walk the talk. I, I mean, I think as usual, Lauren is going to be in the lead um, on trying and adopting stuff. Um, but I'm, I'm getting the other thing is kind of like, you know at least ma many places where it ends up, it's easier easy to get it from one place to another place. Like it's easy to get Airtable stuff out to, yeah, you know, Obsidian, for instance, even. And kind of vice versa. Pete, can I screen share for a second? Yeah, please. Actually, I'm glad you said that, Pete, because then, then I feel like like a lot of the stuff that's going on in Airtable, I could um, play with or manipulate in Obsidian potentially. Yep. Yep. Um, quick question. Sorry. Um, I just um, uh, open folder as vault, create new vault. I mean, I, I don't need to do this now, but I'm just. Uh, uh, create new vault. OK, cool. OK, carry on. So I could show you guys my Airtable that I use for project management. Um, I do have some like things I really want to add on to it to make it better for mobile, especially. Um, Pete, could you uh, pass hosts for a second? Uh, um, I'm going to do it a different way. I'm just going to make it so everybody can share. OK, cool. So the best way to set up an Airtable is just to like think about how you, like what you want to track. So for me, I'm tracking ventures, which are like uh, businesses or or like um, entities. And then, so for example, I have Catalyst, Tizetto. I have my personal like consulting business, uh, United Nations Association. Sleeping for me is a venture. Um, <laughs> and then I have uh, <laughs> basically fun and social life. <laughs> and I have basically how many hours per week I want to have uh, like to each one of these ventures and then like status and then it's connected to all the tasks. Um, and so then below ventures are projects. So for example, um, you can have a, a Kanban board where it shows like the status. So I have like waiting for something ready to begin in progress for the different projects to like kick off. Um, and you can do cool things where you can say like, okay, I want to group all of the projects by venture. So then you could see like kind of all your different um, projects here. And then you could see the different um, like, you know, uh, Kiko Lab, Flotilla, CSC would be like the different ventures. And then inside of projects, I have tasks. And so I had these split up into like different views. So if I only want to do personal tasks, um, I have those filtered here. 
and I have like next action. Um, and then I have um, for the different like businesses, I have like, what are the Bel Dolce um, tasks? And then I have these grouped to like delegate, to do it someday or to like do it like the next chance I get. Um, and then I also have uh, a Kanban view for tasks, tasks as well to like see which ones are done which ones are done but recurring that I have to do like each year, for example, like filing taxes or updating inventory um, and then in progress or on hold. And I could see like, what things am I still waiting for people for? Um, and then I have like personal, just like habits, just like kind of like in the social life component, like how I want to spend my day. And then if I'm delegating, I have a list of collaborators so I can see a list of all the people that I'm like working with and delegating tasks to. And so I can kind of see like what tasks am I waiting on from like my dad or um, from other people that I'm um, working on projects with. And then I had made another one just for like little tasks, which are just like, I really just need to like put this in my to-do list to like text someone or. Um, so this is kind of like what I'm doing now. Um, I would like it to be better, easier to just add something really quickly on mobile. Um, that's kind of like the main thing that I'm using Google tasks for that because it's super easy. Like when I'm driving to like just add a task that I remembered or like in the shower, whereas like it's not very easy to do this on the Airtable app. Cool. Thank you. The, the, so this is a really good structure. Um, <clears throat> and Vincent, we should, we should match up structures at some point. Um, they're very similar, you know. Um, uh, so it's okay to actually start really small. And, and one of the things you do with Airtable is you kind of play around with it. You go, oh, there's another thing about, you know, there's more metadata I want to track, or there's another kind of thing I want to track. And you, you kind of build those up. So I, I, what I would recommend is start with pr a pretty simple view of stuff, probably something kind of like where we got to last time and build up from there. Um, in, instead of, I, I would use Vincent's structure as an inspiration and a good way, a good structure, but I would build up to that rather than adopting it and then, and then filling it out down. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. So, so and what's and it's actually the way you build up is the way that you wanna build it up instead of, sorry, Charles, what? Well, what's the minimum viable structure then? Or, or I would just have to figure um, out. There's tasks and projects or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And and it's probably, we, um, uh, we we had a session, so we started something. I don't know what it was. But I should go back to that. It, it, it may be. Recorded. I have to go back. Yeah. So kind of unspoken in there is um, Vincent and I both have a sense in our head of the hierarchy of, of organization and you know what's important to track and what's not important to track. Um, and it takes a while to it takes a while to grow that in your head. It doesn't it's not obvious at the front, even though now it, it it's so obvious to Vincent or me that we've forgotten how you know how we even adopted any of that. Um, well, I have, I'm not starting from zero. I, I have, Yeah. I do, and, I, I do. I mean, I get a lot of stuff done. So I have done, I figured out so a way. I, I don't know if I could articulate, but I think I, I'm thinking now about this taxonomy piece. And actually that's maybe the natural direction to go a little bit uh, as we float on the flotilla. <laughs> um, <laughs> and yeah, just to kind of flag something that came up with Eric, you know, with regard to you, Vincent, in a conversation, I guess, ongoing that you guys have had um, with different perspectives around taxonomy. So I, I, I guess we could weave that in. But in terms of my own taxonomy, that's just what I think about in terms of the hierarchy or structure of things that are being tracked. I mean, uh, Kiko Lab, obviously, and w what I call LC, Lorna and Charles, you know, is the big, is usually the, the super bucket, and then everything else goes in there a lot of times OGM becomes a, its own you know at the same level and, and, and so, so on 
since you're not starting from zero and since you have a, a structure in your head already, the thing to do is to sit with uh, Vincent or me for like 30 or 60 minutes and just go through that, you know, so, you know, what do you want to track? You know, what are they called? How, you know, and, and then we can just build a simple base for you um, or help you build, well, build a simple base with you. And then you can keep kind of hacking and tweaking it. Yeah, cool. I'm, I'm really game. I mean, and I think even in just thinking about that and getting prepared for that, it, it'll, I'll, I'll make a lot of progress to just distill and articulate. Um, and probably the next uh, phase after that would be for Lauren and I to do that kind of thing together, <laughs> literally start to sync up our buckets, yep. you know? Yep. Yep. Um, there's one other thing that you could do that I actually am now, I just realized during this call that with Airtable would be really cool. Um, so you could make a, a task clipper. So um, let me start over, hold on. Okay, so uh, it, let's say I am on this website and I don't wanna have a million tabs open, but I, I want to like save this for later. I, I could bookmark it or you could make a little clipper that goes, you can do like add tasks for later. And then I could basically link this to Catalyst and I could link it to the project of Ooh, um, of like um, website design. And then I could put a status right. as not started or delegate. Uh, and then I could put an urgency and I could add notes like check out this site for later. Um, and then when I add the record, it will go into my task list here. How do we make it? Is that just like an add-on to a, can I get that on Firefox? Is it an add-on? I think it's only on Chrome. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, I think it might be, I think it might be only on Chrome, um, but the good news is in six months, I'm probably going to be building something similar for Firefox, hopefully, because uh, I actually prefer Firefox and I'm very annoyed about that. Okay. Wow. I used to use Firefox all the time and I kind of somewhere along the way got back on Chrome and it's just kind of, I don't know. Thanks for telling me I should probably do Firefox. Yeah, I, I was on it. I had all the security features and then it was just so annoying to, I, I gave up. <laughs> I think I'm, yeah, letting more hang out than I need to. That's for sure. Uh, Actually, so that would really be also a good, a good session to do sometime. Like, yeah, it actually relates to password management, but it's just more to it, right? Yeah, I had like, like no script. I don't know if any of you guys use that. What is it? No script. Yeah. Don't know. It basically doesn't run any scripts unless on the website, unless you say that it's okay. And so it's really crazy when you look at websites, you're like, oh, I'm on like this website to buy a hotel, but Amazon and Facebook and Twitter are all trying to run scripts to kind of like track me. And so you could choose which ones you want. And then like certain things on the page like won't work unless you enable the script. So it's kind of like a, a game to try to figure out what scripts are, are doing the thing that you need to do without giving Amazon and Facebook all your data. Um, it's quite fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or you could use Chrome and be blissfully ignorant to it. <laughs> I'm pretty blissfully ignorant at this point. I have to say, I, um, I do have some things like ad blocker and things set up, but anyway, um, yeah. You, uh, you were... Sorry. So I'm just, uh, I don't know, Pete, if you want to, or are you already adding to the, to the notes doc, like for, for another time, maybe to go more into even briefly, uh, some of that stuff. Yeah. I, I didn't put anything <clears throat> on the notes specifically, Okay, <clears throat> but I can, if you want. Maybe there's a, there could be a, just a section for future meetings. I'm not going to be on next week, by the way, because my kids. Or maybe I can a little bit, but. Um, 
Uh, and so what's the what's for um, future meetings? I would call it um, se security and privacy um, and then maybe parentheses like bra browsers and pa passwords or something like that. I mean, I guess on my side, that's another call for help, but it doesn't have to be all, all about me. But. I think uh, I'm actually, I've been closing my tabs. Apparently Chrome has a really big update. And I can't update it unless I close all my tabs, so. Um, a really cool trick oh. is uh, bookmark all tabs. Okay. Shift command D. So then there's um, uh, then there are tab managers. I use one tab. Um, yeah. Do you know if there is a way to sync these tabs with Airtable easily? I'm wondering. Um, if you if you bookmarked them all, or or maybe one one tab has. If you, what you want to do is export them. You could export them to Airtable. I mean. So yeah, there's this share all as a web page option here. Yeah. And it has them all here. Or the other option that one tab gives you is export URLs. Yeah. And then just like a list of URLs. I think the heading here actually more than security and privacy, or that's a subheading, it would be browser, browser related. So, um, like even one tab, Christina Bowen hit me to that a couple of years ago, and I played with it, but I never really figured out how to use it properly. Um, yes, uh, <laughs> this would be amazing. Uh, Vincent. Um... Uh, if you want to take an hour someday, we could write a Python script that sucks in either a web page, bookmarks as a web page, or list of URLs or something, and, and puts it in Airtable. I can show you okay. how, to, how to Python Airtable. Yeah. Yeah, put that on the calendar. I'd, I'd love to do that. <laughs> you know what? Else? Go ahead, and then I have another thing. Pasting it into Airtable, it uh, looks like this. If you manually do it. Um, so it has oh, the sure. link and then it has the um, the title of the of the page next to each other. Cool. So that's a start, but I think probably what we could do, Pete, would be a lot <laughs> more advanced than that. So yeah. the thing that belongs here actually came up at some point not too long ago, which is the, the social bookmarking. So I'll put Digo on there, on that list. Is Digo open source? Oh, I don't know. It's just the group, the grouping feature is, is good. I mean, maybe there's something uh, equivalent that's that is open source. I'm not sure, but and then that just relates. It actually goes right back to taxonomy and even just bookmark um, bookmark management, right? Um, like I haven't even done this intentionally in a really long time, but I, I did have some years, a couple of times, like really building out a lot of folders and structure, and <clears throat> just got off off of that. Um, so there's some older ones I could spin up, but I'd rather actually just start afresh. But there again, there's a kind of structure to, to sort out. So how to maybe just doing an Airtable, I'm just thinking out loud slightly here, but but just dealing with the structure in Airtable probably makes the most sense rather than try to mirror it or somehow sync to like the browser bookmarks, right? Yeah. If that made sense. Yeah, actually, you know, the, there's a, yeah, there's an interesting, um, you could connect social bookmarking and, and Airtable 
a Airtable bookmark database to like Massive Wiki too. That sounds pretty good. You can just put that on the list then, maybe. Yeah. So that would be a combination, I guess, you know, bookmark management and social bookmarking, because like there'd be overlap in terms of the structures, the tags. Yeah. Right? Um, it's top of the hour, probably for Vincent. Oh, yeah, indeed. Anything you want to share, Lauren? doing uh no, i just had a i just had a uh meeting with jamie oh my god oh jamie my joyce jeez ja go oh. jamie from the society library yeah whoa right on <laughs> yeah don't sleep pretty, on her pretty hardcore she'll be leaving us all in dust oh my god okay. Is she up up on the overweb stuff and the infodemic folks? Is that like? I don't know. I didn't ask about them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, she is, uh... So Pete, I can't remember how aware you are of this quite recent, um, but often running interview series that Lauren's doing. I'm not. No, I'm not hooked up to it. Don't know about it. Oh, I'm it's pretty boring. Just doing wildfire. It's boring. Give me a break. Just doing interviews with people asking like if Kiko was an incubator, what it would it look like? And they are giving me pretty good advice. And so I think we're kind of pointing in on um, business models and stuff. It's awesome. It's a good idea. The call yesterday was everything but boring, Lauren. I don't get where you. Oh yeah! Oh my God! Oh yeah! And Jamie and the, you know, the call. Yeah, oh my God! Like yesterday with Tiberius and um, Sam Rose. Wow. Are they so they're on YouTube or where do I find them? <laughs> I, did, I did put it on YouTube. You, you can put that one on. there too already. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're all up. Uh, I didn't see that YouTube. one in order. Is that one also in order already? I need, I need to check. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Beautiful. It was it was it was like beyond. It was just incredible. Um, these guys are like. Yeah. It's relevant to you, actually, um, Pete Sam Rose. If you don't know him, you you, you have to. I, I yeah, I think I just know of him. I don't think I know him. Yeah, he's good. You're in the same tribe. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Federated knowledge, I would definitely. Um, awesome. Definitely be talking to him. Yeah. Basically, um, hooked, up, hooked up Kiko Lab with like so much wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I wonder if we should kind of wrap. All right. I, I just want to acknowledge that um, Pete and Lauren and co coaching, there's really something very special potential there. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, how did the one? Uh, how did the one this week go? Well, I mean, we could uh, go into that, but I think we're trying to wrap. But the, I, it, it was good. It, it did come up when when Pete was sharing, uh, allowing a little bit of, of some challenge <laughs> and and whatnot um, from his side. Even though I don't need coaching, but uh, but you know, I'm hard on myself, and it goes on from there. <laughs> then um, I thought, you know what, you and Lauren. <laughs> fucking superstars that have the, the highest possible bar of expectation and then you get frustrated and you get down on yourself because you can't do all the stuff that you try to do and i'm the same way although i learned how to not be too hard on myself as a result my stuff is like spreading and you know so you know this i we all have high bars right and, and how we actually meet those it's it's another thing right <laughs> Yeah. And what happens when you don't? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we should do it. Sometime we should get together, Lauren, and and talk about how awesome we are, <laughs> or how 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 perfection is wonderful or bad or or whatever. You could just you could just shoot the <laughs> like across to each other, you know. <laughs>
<laughs> like the 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 uh, echo chamber of appreciation. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so, all right then. Um. So we've got recording. Um. I don't. I. So I don't have a good sense of whether or not this one was worth publishing or not. Uh, I don't know. I think. I'll make I'll, I'll make it unlisted. I'll make it public. Well, I, um, unlisted is just kind of a buffer, I guess. If if we're if we're sharing it like in the channel, which which anyone can subscribe to, then it, it's it's just an extension of public, right? But I don't know how how I look at it is. Do I want someone to waste an hour of their time watching this that they could be using like? In an hour, you could learn a lot. I, I don't know if it was rich enough for <laughs> like somebody else who's not us to look through it. So I would just yourself. It was not that rich. <laughs> I, yeah. Like I, like you saw my my Airtable task list, but I could also just send a link to that. So <laughs> dude, by the way, so back back on that, um, and let me let me make a note on the the wiki page. I'm just a little bit um, too hardcore default to, to like, you know, for, as an oral historian and wanting the transcript, you know, for because our dialogue is, is like, it's it's a meta thing as well. But that's just me okay. and I'm not stuck on it. Yeah, well, so, one, of, one of the important parts is knowing like not, what not to include. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I, I feel like there's a, couple there's a, a second or two that i'd want to clip out i think if we ended up sharing it so maybe. i'm energized not to share but maybe i should just clip that part out and then we can publish it i don't um, have enough bandwidth to have a strong opinion here so uh vincent do you have a uh a name for your task management stuff uh Vincent's Airtable task list, I guess. <laughs> um, Vincent's project management. So I, yeah, I don't, I don't have a name. Uh, dude, um, the, the whole thing that you've got there, if we could figure out how to, you could, you could sell that actually, the kind of the framework and the webinars that go along with explaining how it works. Um, I don't think that's your style. Um, By so the way, then you're, we should... you're sharing the stewardship notes i don't know if it was intentional well there you go that's exactly what i yeah oh sorry even better so this is yet and yet more seconds to cut clip out um <laughs> uh, let me uh i meant to be sharing this this window let's see if i can get it to pop over there i've got too many browser windows so till friday and the stewardship council. Um, uh, I, I scribed this down. Um, so I, Vincent, literally that's gold and you could sell it, um, but I don't think you wanna sell it. So we should still figure out how to help other people use your, this use or in, at least be inspired by that structure because it's cool well i i could uh i actually on my agenda for the week is to set up a patreon page because um yeah yeah i think there's like a lot of like there's a lot of little things that i don't have enough time to focus on fully that i think would be super valuable for people that i'd just be like if you sign up for my patreon you get all this like all the goodies <laughs> um would, would a, a patreon uh incentivize you to to give give away goodies, what's the best way to incentivize you to give away goodies? Maybe yeah, it, I, it might not be up, Patreon. No. Well, it depends. You know, it depends on your incentive, right? Um, the so so one way to do it is to set up a yet another LLC, which I know you love. Um, I set do up have another, Vincent Arena LLC. I do have a, well, like a personal there's, LLC. There might be, yeah, maybe maybe it would go in there. Maybe it would go in another LLC. But you could you could literally have like five hundred dollar courses or something like that. You know, here's how you can you can. So you could do that. That's one way. Another way you don't is need an LLC account. for that. You can use a five hundred one c three and I'm, people can I'm teasing. Well, teasing. I'm teasing a little bit. I, I know that <laughs> hates his LLCs. Um, that there are so many of them, not that he hates any one of them. He loves them all like children. Um, 
so then there's the Patreon way. So another way to do it, the kind of the OGME way to do it is the way I would say it, um, or maybe the flotilla way to do it. Um, another way to do it would be to get a couple of apprentices, like uh, you would start another channel, or somebody would start another channel, right? Task management, project management, um, something like that. And then um, like Bill Anderson is doing with Massive Wiki for me right now, he's like running down, you know, things that I don't have time to figure out. He's like drilling into them, right? Somebody could take, uh, take the base that you've got, um, pull out all the stuff that's like specifically yours, replace it with sample data, and then start working on, um, you know, videos and stuff like that to demonstrate it and, and kind of set you up to be able to distribute it without having a lot of, of the work of the grunt work of actually doing it. So that would be like a little guild or a little quest or whatever. Hey guys, I'm gonna go back to Ivan. Okay. Bye everyone. Have fun, bye Lauren. So that, you know, that is a different way of energizing, you know, you to do that, you know, yeah. get, get, get other people to help you do it. And then know that people are just getting it for free. Right, right. Yeah. Um, not options. that you have to decide right now. Um, but it's that that is worth giving to the world somehow. Mm. Selling it okay. or 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 uh, gifting it under a Patreon or or gifting it, you know, common style. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, that's definitely another thing to think about. But uh, yeah, I feel like um, my, what, what would really motivate me is like, I actually, the reason why I mentioned Patreon is because how I personally work is like, for example, with the, the don't do nonsense book, we basically like two years ago wrote like a draft of it. And then in like two days this year, I picked it up again and then like took it and then took it to like the next level in like two days, just kind of like a focus two days on just writing. And like now I haven't looked at that task list, the structure in like six months or a year. And so like, if I were to go back to it now with a fresh set of eyes, I can be like, oh my gosh, I know how I can make yep. this so much better and take everything yep. I've learned and incorporate into it. And so like, like uh, the way I focus on projects is very much I'll like do it and then I'll stop and then I'll go back and revisit it and like make it better. And so that's the sort of thing where it's like, as I'm updating and making things better then I could like, hey, I just pushed this update to it. Here's the new version. Um, like, yeah, I, I don't, unless I really want to get something done, I don't really get things to a hundred percent very often. That's totally fine. So, so, you know, if you set up a Patreon, it would, it would start at a couple hundred bucks a month or whatever, or after a month or two or three, it would be a couple hundred bucks a month. So is that, is that worth the hassle to you? Um, or you're going to start to send out emails and or updates or I guess so, it triggers notifications. I'm just thinking after six that. months, after six months or a year, it might be at, at $2,000 a month or $10,000 a month. I don't know. You're, you, since you're a rock star, you'd get, you know, but yeah, I, I, I think I was going to start and um, I was going to start it just to kind of, yeah, like share some of like the little things that I'm build I'm building that are not done yet, but that are still super useful and that I don't want to just like put out there and put a brand to and just say like, Hey, I'm working on these really cool tools. I'm finding really cool content. Like, I feel like I just have so much stuff that I, that is not being used that I want to share yep. in a way that's kind of loose and a little informal and still, and be able to be able to like capture something from that to be able to put towards finishing those things, whether that's like, you know, paying someone to help for uh, like, like I also have been thinking yep. about, um, building yep. up like a small team, like kind of getting a PA to help yep. with some things. So be like, uh, like Michelangelo's workshop or something like that. Exactly. Um, exactly. I, I think that's, that's a good idea. I think, um, uh, so, so then in, in the, in my models, revenue models that, that I, I have, um, the one that that fits is a lot more like people aren't going to value stuff unless they are paying for it. 
and then probably from your point of view it's not so much how much you pay it's that you know you've said yeah i i actually am going to kick in if you i'm, I'm going to take some pain because i think it's worth the, the value and you know i want to see uh, work in progress and things like that and and i get i you know i get the work in progress is is also a patreon thing you know it's not all about the money it's just by it's about, about saying you can peek over my shoulder you can peek into the workshop so that makes sense yeah we have, we have kiko lab <laughs> and um you know i think this is also what kiko Lab's all about and wants to be all about and so just maybe for another lens or somehow i'm not i'm um, going to be elegant and, and trying to be concise right now, but but you know you have open invitation carte blanche anyway, and um, we're and you know we're super grateful and blessed to, to you know have you and and, and be able to, to test out and, and you know beta test and whatnot. So just um, you know to, to try to evolve that somehow into supporting you you know sooner is, is certainly in my interest and and I think our collective interest. And so just to consider this kind of, I mean, it's a container, it's an ecosystem, it's a flotilla in itself, it's all that stuff, yeah. but, but to, to kind of have this um, gathering of energies and co collaboratory energies, right? That's, uh, that's better than just hiring a team, I guess. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Um, yeah, and I think there is, um, I think a lot of, I feel uh, a li like, I feel like there's not enough time and I feel like selfish in like, like if I were to do a hot seat, I could probably with all the products that I've already done, if I don't do anything else, I could probably do a hot seat every week for the next like year, just from like all my past projects. Right? Do a call? I feel selfish doing that. And so like, Good. I'm only doing, I'm only really sharing with Kiko Lab. I feel like the, the things that are most relevant and most useful, but all that other stuff, I still want to like, be yeah. out in the world you know yeah. like yeah. uh like for example i made a, a virtual reality meditation app thing <laughs> that you basically put on this vr headset and then you watch a video that starts at the top of someone's head and then zoom slowly zooms oh, right. out with relaxing music and it goes all the way out into the, like the solar system and it's so freaking cool and relaxing and like <laughs> yeah. it just like shows you your place in the world and like like, I just want people to use it. I don't want money from it, but like, I, I want people to use it. And it's something that, yeah, that'll come in the package if, if you support me doing cool things. And like, I don't wow. think I'll find the time to present that at Kiko Lab because there's other things that I feel like are way more interesting, like, so relevant. Uh, so. I'm having a meta moment of, of realizing that, you know, considering, you know, the hot seat model and the Kiko Lab, you know, weekly sessions and even OGM and the flotilla, you know, call time like like time linear you know clock whatever and real estate of of the calendar right that's you should probably put the word real estate um on the calendar list somewhere just anyway but the point is so and then we have you know you and us each of us here and all basically all the people we know are the same way like most of us yeah have it's, it's definitely not just me like in the ogm calls everyone that presents i'm like i want you to talk for an hour about that update yeah, yeah, yeah. not like three but, minutes and so but the point is the point is um you know we can't have all those conversations actually it's just not physically possible right we're not yeah. sort of quantum beings yet like in that regard and so um well maybe that's the key hmm. quantum conversation <laughs> anyway <laughs> I think you know what I'm saying. Like, it's just um, somehow there's a way still, I mean, number one, to support you because I'm hearing you, I'm trying to hear you. And, uh, but to, to have everybody more or less represented in the sense of, of being um, nurtured in, in all of their stuff, which is each one is going to fill up more than the calendar, right? So it's like, I don't know, is, is that, was that useful at all or just a mess or both? <laughs> um, both. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> Useful mess. <laughs> yeah, the best kind, or the the most usual kind, maybe. I don't know. Indeed. I think I have to take this. Yeah, my bell's Let's ringing drop. over here. So. Uh, Cheers. Until soon. Yay. Talk to you guys.